Melissa, put the glass All down. Right. Is this it's inappropriate? Not time yet. I'm just smelling it. It's not time yet. Well, it's almost time. Yeah. So you know that summer is almost over when Labor Day comes rolling around. It's also the last big weekend that most people grill out. So if you're celebrating the end of the season, make sure you grab a good bottle of wine to celebrate. And here to show us how to pair our cookout foods, we love this idea, with the finest wines, is 8 Bar and Patio Sommelier Belinda Chang. So thank you for bringing the party to us. This is really super My sweet. My pleasure. We've been cooking all morning. I, but look at how good this looks. <laughs> like a beautiful bottle of wine and your burgers and hot dogs. Like this works. It's how it should be. Right? Absolutely. It makes this, it even more fun. Exactly. This is easy with a little bit of elevation and the wine takes it up to the next notch. And I mean, there's so much to do here. I don't even know yeah. what to look at first. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to go we're right to left. Start all the way over okay. there. So we brought our lobster roll from 8 Bar and Patio, mm. which is on the first floor of our restaurant over in the Gold Coast. Yeah. And I brought three different white wines that I think are super fun to taste. I mean, you could do all three. You yes. can choose one, however you like. But we poured a little Chenin Blanc Viognier blend for yes. us to taste. Okay. Um, you know, you've got lobster and a little bit of mayonnaise, so it's definitely some richer flavors. Mm -hmm. So I think it's fun to do a pretty full-bodied style of white to accompany it. Yum. And Viognier always adds like a really pretty perfume, florals mm -hmm. and peaches oh. and stone. Which one would that, sorry to interrupt, but which bottle so would that that's be? That's so the people, one, the twelve ninety nine, and we bought all of these wines the at Mariano's. Ridge. So oh, the you Pine can get Ridge. them okay. all over the place. Okay, I just want you to know mm. that sometimes I go into Mariano's and buy the six bottles to get the discount of Absolutely. that one wine. This is one of my favorite wines, it is and so I feel good. so good it's that Belinda really picked good. it. Right? Yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. by the way, do you you serve it like this at a little pool table? We can if you want, but we have a lot of fun and games there. So a lot of people like to choose their cocktail That's by using so the magic eight ball. Oh, because all of our cocktails they're ten dollars each and you can choose them by letting the magic eight ball decide Wait, let's for ask, you. Okay. Let's yeah. ask the magic want. eight ball if we're going to drink more <laughs> wine. And and of course. Wait, what it says it my reply is no. no. Oh, no. Oh, this one must be broken. We're yeah. going to ignore that one. <laughs> yes. Check it again. Okay. We asked it the wrong way. Now, yeah. this next treat, you've taken hot dogs to the next this level. This is a little insane. So I get to work with Chef Danny Grant over mm -hmm. at 8 Barn Patio and also at Maple and Ash. So he wouldn't just do a normal hot dog. Mm -mm. This is a bacon-wrapped Vienna beef hot dog mm -hmm. with Lovely. little nuggets of foie gras. Good Lord. That we can oh. also pour a little cognac and mustard sauce on top oh my goodness. to bump them up to the next level. So this is hot dog on fleek. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we like to and say. you also serve them in the same buns that you use for the lobster. These are brioche buns, right? Mm -hmm. We call them crack butter buns you, sometimes. Right. <laughs> everything you have at 8 Bar and everything you have at Maple and Ash is, is like crack. I mean, it's, and hopefully very addictive. The, the best food I've ever, ever had. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what are we I'm pairing I'm super with? lucky. So, you know, the traditional pairing with foie gras is sweet wine, right? Mm. So sometimes you do a little seared foie gras in a fancy elevated restaurant with sauternes. So we did a Riesling, oh, I you know? I know a lot of people love to drink Moscato Dosti and some mm -hmm. of those sweet styles of wine. So this one's a Riesling Spätlese, right? So Spätlese tells us there's going to be a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. This one is 10.99. And it's not too produce. sweet. It's yeah. so good. Good acidity. Yeah. I mean, you can. This is a glugger. Yeah. Right. And is it, <laughs> the reason why you do it with foie gras is because foie gras is so rich. Yeah. Is that why? So, so you, you always do kind of rich with rich, right? We did I lobster see. with a richer white wine because that's Got sort it. of a nice pairing. Mm -hmm. If you have something lighter, you do a lighter white. Okay. Yummy. There's no way to eat that properly on television. <laughs> yeah, we may have to <laughs> but wait. Let's save this for later. <laughs> now, yeah. next burgers. Off camera. That's, that's on anybody's list, and right? And we think a single burger is, is boring. So <laughs> our downstairs <laughs> burger, course. which has sort of a great um, fan eater ship, is a double burger with cheese that's got a little bit of onion on it. And we love this one with the red wine, right? You gotta get okay. some red drinking in there. First you have so... to have a bite of burger then. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be the right thing to do. Mm, okay. With oozy cheese, which we love. I did a red wine from Argentina. So mm. we all love Malbec. Catena is one of the founding families of Argentine wine. And this one's a little bit of a splurge as opposed to some of the others. It's mm -hmm. $18.99 a it's bottle. It's still under 20 bucks. Yeah, I think it still punches above class. Mm. This is a really delicious red. It smells red. good. I haven't even tasted it yet. The burger is so Spicy. good, Spicy. The There's kind of some woodsy oak notes that are nice. But we've got big, rich burger. You need big, rich red wine to you know, go along with it. And with it, I know that there's no rules about temperature and nah. stuff, but when you talk about this is good, when yeah. you talk about it being cooler at night, like tonight and tomorrow night, you sit outside with up. the little fire going. Oh, yeah, marshmallows. Come on. These are so all the fun. perfect picks. And then we've got it. some other ones. There's a fun Italian, which would work great. And then we've also got a California Cabernet, of course. We'll work burger. our way through mm -hmm. that. We can yes, taste yes, them we all. We have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're yes. ready to really... rumble. So fried chicken, of course, mm -hmm. Labor Day. So Chef Danny has been working really hard. I don't know if we've got KFC Colonel Sanders situation yet, but this is version number 18. Listen, sister, this looks like somebody's <laughs> mom was fried chicken. Yeah, that okay, looks that's way better. That's what you want. That's the greatest compliment. So it's not on the menu yet? 
It's not on the menu yet. It's still in development, so we might need some taste testers to come help us decide on final we'll recipe. Pass over a piece. <laughs> right. But you know, we really love to do fried chicken with champagne. I mean, <gasps> really? high culture, low culture. I think it's a really classic mm -hmm. and delicious pairing. So we brought something that you could do for every day. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little sparkling wine from New Mexico from a winery Ooh. called Gruet. They're from oh, Champagne, yeah. France. But oh, yeah. they make this delicious okay. champagne in the same method as they do in France. I didn't know it was made in the States. It is. It's American version. Because you see this a lot. It's really good. Yeah. I love it. And fried food with sparkling wines. Mm -hmm. Classic. Never knew. Is that why delicious. French fries and potato chips say, say so yes. good? Yes. That's why I eat so much of both, right? And drink so much <laughs> of it uh -huh. <laughs> yum, together. Yum. So I did Gruet. So that's, you know, something you could do for every day. It's mm -hmm. just um, under $20 a bottle. And then, you know, if you're throwing down with your friends, or maybe this is the bottle you hide under the table for yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we doing here, here for Linda? We go all the way and we do Moët de Chandon, yes. Imperial Champagne, which is yes. an uber classic. And we'd love to have this one. This. All the time. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a little bit I, of I was waiting. That Moet's mm. really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We always love it when you come, Belinda. Thank you so much. I feel validated today with mm -hmm. the wine choices I've made, and <laughs> I can tell my like friends minded. a sommelier told me that this was good, and I'm a good person. <laughs> Listen, tell your chef to stop at number 18. <laughs> oh, he we're nailed done. it. Like this chicken is perfect. We got it's it. Really good. Drop the mic. Really good. So Drop all it. these wines are pretty widely available. You should be able to find them in a great grocery store like Mariano's. And like you said, if you buy a bunch of bottles, you get a nice little discount. So you might as well. Get your little carrier, people. It. And now, if you want to learn more about wines and have a great time, stop by 8 Barn Patio. Ask for our girl, Belinda. She'll help you pair your food with the right wine and have a good time with all their oh games and food.